was good y'all rich sosa back in the building with another banger and first things first man i just gotta say thank god for giving me this opportunity to be able to share this with y'all but also having you in my day as well as me in yours so let's go ahead and get started man i hope y'all are having a great day whether it be the morning evening noon night it does not matter i just hope y'all are living blessed and let's just go ahead and talk about what i'm going to be bringing y'all today i'm going to be bringing y'all the most comp two-way facilitating finisher build coming at y'all on nba 2k22 now i'm telling you you're going to be able to get all of the animations on this build that you're going to want out of any kind of build going to be very nice when it comes down to the badge count as well as everything else that goes into it once you consider this build at 99 so before we get into the actual making man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new Anybody looking to join RGF the Rich Gang family, go ahead and turn on post notifications. Do not forget. But also, let's go ahead and get 50 likes on this banger. I know that we can do it. That's really going to help me go ahead and get this video to the recommended pages. So I would really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into the making of this build. The first thing that y'all want to go ahead and do, put this build under the shooting guard position. Now, I am more than sure you're going to be able to make this build out of multiple different pie charts as well as positions but the one that i'm making out of today is really going to be something special i love the build name really gonna remind me of a lebron james build but you can also even consider this a jordan build depending on the way that you look at it so when it comes down to the pie chart again remember the pie chart that i'm about to pick is not the only one that you can make it out of but with that being said i have to go ahead and also add in that if you decide to go with another pie chart and get the same build name, I am not sure 100% if you can still get all of the animations unlocked when it comes down to it. So, what you want to go ahead and do to pick the very best one guaranteed with the animations. Pick the finishing and the shooting but the one with a little bit more of the blue than the green. Now, when it comes down to the physical profile, you could go with the speed if you want to. But I want to be able to guarantee that we're going to be able to get the contact dunks, especially with that 80 vertical, y'all. So again, this is the one that I'm going to go with. 80 speed, 80 acceleration, and we hit the 80 minimum amount of the vertical that we're going to need when it comes down to getting those animations so let's go ahead and get right into it first we're going to go ahead and start off with the finishing i'm going to go ahead and put my close shot to an 88 driving layup 91 driving dunk 81 and then when it comes down to the standing dunk put this to a 51 and that's going to give us 16 finishing badges now when it comes down to the shooting go ahead and put the mid-range shot to an 80 leave it as is three point shot 78 leave it as is as well and then when it comes down to the free throw put it to an 85 and we're gonna get 15 badges right there now let's go ahead and get into the playmaking pass accuracy 78 ball handle 79 then when it comes down to the post control this is really optional but i'm gonna go ahead and put it to a 41 14 badges right there 16 14 and 15 is not a bad setup when it comes down to this now let's go ahead and get into the defense we're gonna go with the perimeter of 76 lateral quickness 74 steel 79 block 51 and then go ahead and max out that defensive rebound and put the last two into the offensive and right here we still get a solid amount of badges when it comes down to the defensive side if you want to you can make your own adjustments when it comes down to this but i'm going to go ahead and max out that block seven defensive badges is really solid especially for a two-way remember the takeovers still have to be considered when it comes down to this boost as well and then grinding this build out to 99 now if you want to Make your own adjustments to get some extra stats in certain areas. But for me, I really like how I made it. So let's go ahead and pick the body shape. I'm going to go with Burley. When it comes down to the height, go ahead and put this at 6'5", y'all. We're going to leave it as is. If you want to change it up again, feel free to do so. But again, you're also not going to be guaranteed everything that I'm telling y'all when it comes down to this video. So with the weight, you want to go from the lowest and then go ahead and raise it up. To where it does not affect any of your physicals as well as the main stats right here i'm gonna go with the wingspan of honestly you have a couple different options if you want to go anything other than 86.0 or maxing it out you can definitely do so but i really feel like the best thing to do with it especially when you're grinding a build out go with the highest possible wingspan i'm gonna go with 86.0 because if you're looking to grind this build out in the long run it's gonna pay off because the defense is much better you're still gonna be able to get everything that you want out of it and look at the takeovers y'all slashing 
playmaking. Then we get the lockdown to make this even better of a build. And then the shot creating. With my preference, we're going to be able to get the contact dunks. Really going to be able to dribble well. So I would choose between the lockdown and the shot creating depending on your own preference again. I feel like the shooting is still really solid on this build. So for me, I'm going to highly recommend that everybody go ahead and pick the lockdown takeover. And as y'all can see, just like I said, we have made the two-way facilitating finisher, y'all. Really going to be a nice build, really comp when you look at the stats. And remember, we still got to go ahead and check out what this build is going to be looking like at 99. Remember, we could run with teammates that have floor general or even defensive leader. So let's go ahead and get started now. First, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the finishing. At 99 overall, you're going to have around an 88 driving dunk, which will give us those contact dunk animations. Then on the shooting... Mid-range shot's going to hit the 80s, three-point shot as well, especially with boost, and the free throw is going to be in the 90s. Now, with the playmaking, ball handle, you're definitely going to be able to get those pro dribble moves at an 80. Then the pass accuracy, same exact thing, that's going to go up as well. Now onto the defense. With boost, perimeter defense is going to be a solid mid to high 80s. Lateral quickness, going to be able to hit the 80s as well. Steel has the potential to be able to get into the 90s, and then the defensive rebound is definitely going to be somewhere in the low to mid 70s. Now, with the physicals, we're getting a plus 8. So, a 90 speed, 90 acceleration, and a 92 vertical. Definitely going to be guaranteed getting all the contact duck animations when it comes down to this build. That is going to be a huge W in my opinion, which is why I feel like it really reminds me of a LeBron build. Going to be able to shoot really decent on this build as well. And then when it comes down to the playmaking side of things, everything is going to look really solid, especially once you're running with teammates that have floor general as well as defensive leader, y'all. Now, before we get into the batch count, just remember, these are all going to be based off of my own preference. I really like to go and run with my own style when it comes down to it. So one setup that I'm going to consider for the defensive is going to be gold clamps gold intimidator and then bronze rim protector however you could go ahead and drop down clamps as well as intimidator put them on silver then go with silver rim protector and then add in bronze chase on artist really going to be an even more of a solid lineup now let's go ahead and get into the playmaking we got 14 badges that we're going to be able to work with so most definitely you want to go ahead and put on the badges that are going to help you out solely so i'm going to go with Thanos for days on gold as well as hyperdrive from here we have eight remaining badges so also i'm going to throw in quick first step on gold five remaining again these are all based on my preference with these three badges as long as you have these on i feel like you're going to be really solid remember there are going to be some really solid bronze badges that you should go with in my preference i'm going to go with bailout as well as unpluckable remember bullet passer as well is going to be another really good one to put on but for now i'm going to go with gold quick chain and that's the setup i'm going to go with for this build but feel subjected to be able to change any of the badges to your liking now let's go ahead and get into the shooting right here we got 15 to work with so of course we got to go ahead and first go with the ones that are going to help out our shooting percentages on this build 70s still not a bad range when it comes down to the shooting but again you definitely want to be sure that you're using all of the correct badges when it comes to this build one that i'm really going to consider mismatch expert y'all very overpowered badge i have been hearing so again i'm going to go ahead and leave that on based on my preference from there hot zone hunter is going to be the key badge that you want to put on for any build that's going to be taking shots with the last nine you could really go ahead and stack them up all on gold or you can even spread the wealth y'all really just going to come down to how you seeing yourself using this build but i'm going to go with green machine on bronze another one that i like is going to be dead eye on bronze seven more remaining so volume shooter like i said i love to run the bronze badges especially spreading the wealth on these kind of builds when it comes down to the shooting is going to be a huge helpful tool from there i'm going to go with silver corner specialist bronze catch and shoot and then bronze clutch shooter we got two more remaining badges to work with so if you want to you can go with blinders or set shooter as well as sniper y'all both of these setups are going to be really solid, but again, as long as you feel comfortable with what you're putting on, everything is going to work out in your favor, I'm telling you. Now let's go ahead and get into the best part, which is going to be the finishing. Hall of Fame badges right here, so of course, I'm going to go with Posterizer as well as Limitless Takeoff. With the last eight, you could go ahead and spread the wealth if you want to, or just go ahead and double up on the Hall of Fame badges, y'all. In my preference... As long as you feel like the setup when it comes down to Limitless Takeoff as well as Posterize is going to be solid. Those are going to be the two key badges that you definitely want to run no matter what. 
from there i'm gonna go ahead and put on slithery finisher that is a personal badge that i really like to run and i can also go ahead and say the same exact thing for fearless finisher y'all get unlock some really nice animations but that's a setup we're going with 16 finishing 15 shooting 14 playmaking and 7 defensive again i just gotta say thank god so much for giving me this opportunity i just y'all i mean it's just crazy like I i'm at a loss of words right now i just want you to know that i appreciate y'all i love y'all and man i got more bangers dropping throughout the week so be sure to stay tuned and y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new anybody looking to join rgf the rich gang family go ahead and turn on post notifications but also let's get 50 likes on this video i know that we can do it really gonna help me out get this out to the community go ahead and share it with your family and friends and with all that being said i got one last thing to say thank god and rich out